I'm Storm Tracker ET Meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Thanksgiving forecast. It is going to be a really nice day for Thanksgiving across the Chippewa Valley. The only thing we're going to be dealing with is some chilly temperatures and a breezy wind out of the north and northwest. And high temperatures are going to struggle to get back into the low to mid 30s today. With that wind, it's going to feel more like the 20s. So if you are going to be out and about, uh, definitely want to dress on the warmer side of things and have the sunglasses. But if you're traveling, though, we're not having any issues in the forecast. So that's some good news there. And really going forward the next couple of days, things are going to be pretty quiet. So if you have to travel, maybe you're heading back already tomorrow or on Saturday, at least here in the Chippewa Valley and most of the U.S., we're looking at really good conditions. So I don't expect any major issues locally or across the upper Midwest or even really across the U.S. The only issues really will be across portions of Kansas, Nebraska and Colorado with some snow between today and Saturday. And as we head into Saturday here in the Chippewa Valley, uh, we will have a lot of cloud cover moving in and then I am tracking at least a few flurries and light snow showers for Sunday. We've been talking about this the last couple of days because it's going to be another big travel day as we head into the day on Sunday. Again, most of Saturday is going to be good. In fact, even Saturday night now, we're starting to trend a little bit drier. But as we head into early Sunday morning and throughout the day Sunday, there's going to be a system a clipper system, a weak one at that, to the northwest, and a system to the south and east that will be bringing some uh, light snow, maybe a little bit of a wintry mix to the upper Midwest. So that could definitely slow things down a little bit on the roads and in the skies. So we'll be tracking that. Thankfully, though, it's looking like it's going to be a minor issue and shouldn't cause many issues, but we'll still of course, be watching it with, again, Sunday being a big travel day. That was the European. Here's a look at the American solution. It is starting to come into a better agreement a little bit on what to expect. And again, it's looking like most of Saturday is going to be good. And then Sunday, we'll see at least a few flurries and light snow showers track through the area. And as far as totals go, as of right now, it looks to be very minimal. So that's at least the good news. But as I mentioned, we will be watching this fairly closely. So stick with us on air online, social media, and by downloading the Storm Tracker 18 weather app if you haven't done so already. And then we'll quiet down as we head into the day on Monday. So hometown forecast for your Thanksgiving day. Temperatures in the upper 20s and low to mid 30s. A lot of us, though, have already reached our high temperature for today just after midnight. That does include Eau Claire. Now tonight, it's going to be kind of cold. Lows down in the single digits and teens, and I'm going a little bit below what model guidance is suggesting. A lot of the models are going closer to about 15 degrees. We're going a little bit lower than that because of skies becoming clear after some clouds early. The wind's going a little bit lighter, and dew points are to be down near zero. That is a perfect recipe for some radiational cooling to take place. So all that heat down at the surface is going to rise back up into the atmosphere, and temperatures are going to drop. And there's a possibility if the conditions are right, I wouldn't be surprised if Eau Claire and Menominee, places like that, get down into the single digits by tomorrow morning. So a cold night ahead. Tomorrow, sunny with highs only in the upper 20s and low 30s. And that wind chill is going to be a little bit of an issue as well. Again, upper teens and low 20s today. And we're talking wind chill values down in the single digits by tomorrow morning. So it's definitely going to be a very cold start to the day. And the wind chills don't get much better during the afternoon. Our high will only be 31 degrees in Eau Claire. And we stay in the 30s going forward with Monday dipping into the upper 20s, lows in the teens, and one night with lows in the 20s. And again, just that small chance of snow Saturday night into Sunday or I should say early Sunday morning through the day Sunday. There are signs, though, towards the middle to end of next week with temperatures maybe getting back into the mid to upper 30s.